Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Rosa. I'm a teen services librarian and I'm here to talk to you today about a book called Between the Notes by Sharon Huss Rote. So this is the story of Ivy. She is a high school student and she has always lived a life of privilege, a life of wealth. She's always had a lot of money um, because her parents have a successful business. Well, all of that's about to change because her parents' business is going under and they need to spend their money, what money they have left, on therapy sessions for her younger brother. So she's the oldest of three children um, and her younger brother um, needs some therapy sessions. So Ivy is very upset that she is going to have to move to the other side of town, which is the bad side of town, um, where people who do not have as much money as she and her family live. So she's moving to the other part of town in an apartment building um, that has a top level and a bottom level. And she is actually now next door neighbors with a boy named Lenny who is kind of the bad boy at her school. So her school has kids coming from her the good part of town where she used to live and the bad part of town where Lenny lives and where she now lives. So one of the things that happens when she moves is that she has to leave her piano behind. Now if you notice on this cover right here, this window is piano notes, piano keys. I think that's a pretty cool detail. Anyway, so she has to leave her piano behind um, and it's one of the things, one of the many things that makes her upset that she has to move to the other side of town. So she tries to keep her new living situation, her family's new financial situation a secret. There's only one person who knows and that's her best friend, Risa. And she swears Risa to secrecy. Um, so she starts going back to school. She would usually take, um, a school bus if she's living if she's now living in this part of town but she doesn't want to take a school bus um the kids from the other part of town the rich part of town um call it the state pen bus the state penitentiary bus because it's going to the jail um it's going to the bad part of town so she refuses to take that school bus and instead she um buys an old bike from a yard sale and leaves super early in the morning to get to school on the bike on time. Um, so there's a new boy at school named James and you can see where this is going, I'm sure. Um, Ivy has a crush on James and it seems like James also has a crush on Ivy. I will say their um, little romantic chemistry is pretty darn cute. Um, and that's a nice thing because I actually do not care for Ivy as a character. So it was nice to have something um, outside of Ivy's personality while reading this book. Ivy is one of those people where you just want to like look her in the eye and say, listen, you need to take a couple steps back, reassess your life and make better decisions and just be a better person. She's one of those people. Um, so it was difficult reading a character like that, but the story is still very entertaining. So she meets James. Um, James is very beautiful and it seems like he's very wealthy because he has a fancy, fancy car. And she is not the only person in the school who has eyes for James. Her best friend Risa also has eyes for James. Now, when Risa talks to Ivy about James, Ivy pretends that she has had no contact with James, which isn't true. Um, she pretends that she's not crushing on James, which isn't true. Um, and that's one of the things that also irritated me about Ivy. She and her best friend were kind of going after the same guy and Ivy could have told her best friend the truth of the situation, that things had progressed with her and James before they were progressing between Risa and James. So to complicate things even further, Lenny, the next door neighbor who is the bad boy at school, is hanging around Ivy a lot and she doesn't know why. She doesn't really want people to see her with him because again, he's from the bad part of town, which is also now her part of town. And he has a reputation at the school. Uh, so she doesn't want people to see her with him, but he keeps popping up um, at different times and she doesn't know why until he kisses her on the cheek. 
So now she has two boys who are interested in her and she's not exactly sure what to make of either of these situations. So this is an interesting story um, because it's about somebody who went from living a life of luxury to not having very much and having to do things that she's never done before. It's a story about somebody who's trying to keep secrets from her friends um, so they don't know what her new living situation is and her new financial situation is. It's a story about somebody who is juggling different emotions, different romances. And it is a good read, even though I did not care for Ivy as a character. She does have some development, but reading her was very annoying for me. I had to do it in doses. This was not a speed through kind of a book for me. It was definitely one of those ones where I was like, I want to know what's going on. I want to know Ivy's story, but I also don't feel like dealing with Ivy. So it is a good read. I would highly recommend it. It's Between the Notes by Sharon Hussrot. Thanks.